Hi guys, it's Candace. Welcome back. We are going to do our Marguerite planner number four. Four, 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 four. Um, the CW planner is what they call it with the hashtag in front. Okay, so it says we need numbers, graph paper or line paper, an art scrap, a book page or portion, an old sticky note, and bonus some instructions. So I have all my stuff. So let me just put some of these things aside so I can see what kind of trouble we can get into. All right. So I got two old book pages because, you know, I just got to be different. All right. Let me just go ahead and get my tear ruler. Oh, let's make it all kind of look. Let's see if I can do this with this older book. This is some France travel magazine, well not magazine, a book that I found and it's a little, a little fragile, but it's so pretty and it has this really pretty map of France, which we're going to, you know, kind of cover up, but mm, all right. And let me just go ahead and we're going to just tear this right here and let me see if I can tear this side off get the little decorative edge Ooh, okay oh thanks for coming back I hope you all have been enjoying these crazy videos I know I'm enjoying making them <laughs> imagine that okay so we are going to tear it down the middle And I think I need to rip this. This is just too much, too much for me. We'll, we'll just tear it by hand the good old fashioned way. And up top, too much white up there too. <laughs> Let's just rip that. Woo, no, stay with the words, want the words, okay. All right, so let's ink around here. And yes, I thought about this a hot minute before I did this, even though I had this stuff, you know, pulled yesterday. I was going to do it last night, but nope, it didn't happen. So now I'm trying to get this done. Y'all, i got to get ahead of the game so I can clean and do some stuff. i got Etsy stuff that i got to get done. And, oh, I don't know how these ladies do it all. I'm telling you, they are like the bomb. Okay, so we have that one. And we're just going to go ahead and stick this down and see what happens I mean we're not supposed to think too much you had to think when you're doing the scavenger hunt to find all these things so you're not supposed to think too much to put them down it's supposed to be helping you learn how to collage that's how I take it it, it forces you to put things together that you normally wouldn't do just different sizes and stuff and that's kind of like collaging so I know there's a few ladies that, you know, have mentioned in in their uh, in my comments and stuff that they just don't do well collaging. Well, you just keep adding more stuff to it until um, it looks pretty. Just like that one I did yesterday, that Marguerite Miller challenge that I did with um, my Varga girl. She wasn't my favorite, and I just kept putting more and putting more and putting more, and finally... She turned out okay. You know, she's not my favorite. But I don't not like her anymore. <laughs> so that's a big improvement from where I started with her. Oh. You know, and then once I found out that you can add other things to it than what's listed on the thing, phew, I was good. I started pulling all my stuff out. Because, you know, I can't have no plain stuff. <laughs> Gotta have some some extras all right let me just glue this down oops close my glue up from last minute yeah when my husband comes home he's gonna have to change my SD card because I'm tired of playing the phone game 
but he's got to take my case off of the, my phone so he can actually get to my SD card. So I'm just going to let him handle that because, you know, if it gets broken, not my fault. It would be John's fault. Okay. And then let's stick this one over here. As it sticks to my fingers. Whoops. So I hope I didn't traumatize too many of y'all with my cat attack story that I did. It was bad. So I'm not too worried about a lot of this space in here because I think what I'm going to be doing might cover the most of it up and if not, well, we'll have to ink it up. So, all right. Let me read my stuff real quick. Okay, so numbers, my graph or line paper. Because what I was going to do is I'm going to put this on here, which is, you know, graphed paper. I'm going to make it a pocket, and I wanted to use this other graph paper on there. And then I thought pulling some of this in would be pretty. But I'm kind of wondering, well, let me ink around here because, you know. And I'm thinking maybe these corners might be too harsh for me. I don't know if I need to round them off. But then, what's up with the rounded off graph? Not exactly what they designed it to be. Um, hmm. Well, let's just put us some little grids, stencil some stuff over here. Let's see what this looks like. That might just solve that problem right there. You know, if you don't like it, change it. We're changing it. Alright. So that's not so bad. Stenciling over that book page. Look pretty cool. Alright. So let's just go ahead and glue this. Go ahead and glue this one on it too. And then we'll stencil around that. So we don't have so much white. Oop, let me get back up. Walking down, walking down to me. All right, and then I want to show a little more of that book page behind it. And since we're stenciling, I'm not so worried about that. Okay, but now I'm supposed to have some instructions also. So this is some assembly for some drawer that I, I did. And I think I want to use this... Oh, um, I don't know what language that is. I'm going to say it's French. Just because I got France and stuff on there. So, if it's not... Well, I didn't take French in school. I was too busy trying to be an architect. If y'all wonder why some of my little writing and my letters are a little strange. It's because I had too many years in architect school. All right. So let's put this down there. And no, that's not what I did for a living. Just in case you're curious. <laughs> Alright, let's put our assembly down here so we can still see some of our map page. Whoa. All right, so. And, 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 and. Let's stencil this and see where I want to go with it. All right, let's line it back up. I might just put some of these, these letters on top of here. I think that'd be kind of fun. Let's just stencil some letters on top of our stencil, on top of our book page. <laughs> no one said we couldn't do that. Now, did they? Nope. This is your world. You do you. 
Okay. But I am just going to pull this down here and not be me anymore. I'm going to be a stencil. <laughs> I'm going to stencil the corner. Okay. So, there we go. Oh, let me hit my G again. She's just not quite standing out enough. So, let me hit those. All right. Put my stencil back over there on the side. And let me ink around here. You know, it helps me helps me to create when I'm inked. Alright, now. Now that we got the white edges gone. Okay, let me put a some holy thing in here on the side. I think I'm gonna use my two inch hole punch. And then ink back around my thing. Oops. All right. Now, I'm going to put that thing in here. It says I need some numbers. So I was thinking of putting these numbers. I do not know where I got these from. I have to go find them. I want to say my porch prints, but I'm not for sure. But I will double check because, you know, I'm bad. And then I want to put some of this blue paper this coffee dyed graph paper on here. Just because I like it, it's pretty. Okay, so if I put that there, you on top of there. Okay, so let's just, um, I didn't bring a marker this time. Ow, oh, let me get a marker. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. We have numbers. We got graph paper, line paper. We got our book page. And I got my instructions on there. Okay. I'm cooking with gas now. All right, so if I want to do that, then I have this that has numbers on there that I thought maybe... That would be kind of cool. And I've lost my art scrap. There it is. I'm using this as my art scrap. It's coffee dyed paper that I stamped some butterflies on. So I'm calling that an art scrap. Because it was made as handcrafted. So therefore it is art. Because art is in the beholder. Alright, and I was thinking of putting this on here, but now my numbers. Do I want my 40? See, I'm kind of thinking I don't need all of those. Maybe I just want to do 42, 43, 44. Hey, hey! Yeah, that sounds good. Let's play some football, y'all. We'll put our number 44 back for a rainy day. And let's see if I can cut these corners with a little hole punch. Make it look more authentic. Okay. And then I'm just going to go jiggy, 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 make the little ends a little jiggier. Cut those off so they're not so round or square. <laughs> Yeah. Let's put that square hole in that round peg. Vice versa. Alright, and then I think I'm going to fold them so I can ink them. Just to kind of give them a little more color. And then we'll go ahead and ink around the edges while we got it folded. Be a little easier than inking it while it's there like that <laughs> let's put that back and do it okay so I'm thinking I'm kind of liking that plan so let me let's go ahead and just glue this down yeah this is an old a, a file folder that had the graph on the inside so 
Oh, you might want to put your sunglasses on to watch this part because it has some bright yellow. But I loved them. I found them at a thrift store. Yeah, 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 yeah. For a dollar. And the whole box was full. Um, it's just, I guess somebody sat on the box and the box was squished. But I wasn't buying it for the box. I was buying it for that, the graph file folders. Because it's a nice size. Thickness, real thick. Okay, so we have that one. And then I want to put my coffee dye graph paper down. And yeah, this is just um, like that cheap graph paper. I think I got this pack at um, Dollar General. Not Dollar Tree, but Dollar General. But it's just the real cheap, cheap stuff because the ink actually runs when it gets wet. So that's what causes all this little, I call it ocean effect, because it's really cheap graph paper and the ink spreads. So it makes beautiful paper. <laughs> all right, so we're going to put that there. I want my butterflies there. And I want to see what my... Oh, we're going to have number four. We're doing fours because this is my fourth one. She see. Kismet. All right. So let's put this down here so we can see on number four. And then glue our other numbers down. And then, you know, this was just regular print, but I printed it on coffee dye paper just so it had, you know, some different color on the back so it wasn't so white. But yeah, just flatten your um, coffee dye out so that way you don't have any wrinkle edges and stuff because it sure will get caught in your, uh, <laughs> your printer. Woo! Not for a good day when that jam happens. All right. And then put my art down here. I think I just want number four to show. And then what else do I have? Let me do my art scrap. So this leaves me with my sticky note, which is over there for my other thing. And I'm wondering... I think I want to leave the blue. I don't know if I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet, but uh, let me glue this, my butterfly down, which, you know, all I did was stamp it on some dark coffee dye paper. So we went 42, 43, 47. Because, <laughs> you know, I can't count either. All right. I'm liking that. Once it dries down, that's going to be gonna be pretty. Let me just stick it underneath my book for a few minutes while we're doing something else. So it can kind of flatten. Because it's, it's a, a little wet. All right. Now I want to do the journal card on the inside which you know I'm still sticking with my my graph paper and instead of old sticky note which it's really not old but it is a sticky note um, but I'm going to turn it into a journal card and then these are some more numbers these are part of some what you dinky bingo card I'm trying to get some mm, I'm just using my tear ruler because I don't want Oh, it's a bingo card. It's, it's going to have to be straight. We're just going to leave it as it is. All right, let's ink around it. Maybe ink it will make it different. Make a difference to me. We'll 
crinkle it. Alright. Okay, and then I'm using this as a, another art. <laughs> a stamp that I did on some dyed coffee paper. Alright, let me ink around here so I can see what I'm doing. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and stencil this too, just so it can kind of tie in with the other. Oh, where's my, my scrap paper? Got glue on me. Hold on. All right. So, do I want to use the same? Yeah, let's do this real lightly. I want to hit the edge in the center and then I'm going to pull it down and whoops I'm sure I was out of frame walk it down walk it down I know I'm sorry <gasps> e! see good thing I didn't hold it it's too busy flapping my lips instead of holding my stencil all right I got one two let's do this one all right so I have that, and then let's just, okay, so my words are over here, but you're not going to see anything. Oh, heck, let me pull this out real quick. You know, you're not supposed to think that much. <laughs> if you see smoke, you know it's because I'm thinking. All right, so I'm kind of liking that one. All right, I'm all right with that. Put back underneath my block. Let me put my scribble paper up all right so I was wanting to put this on here this like that and mm. Mm. well you don't know it's a sticky well okay I know in my head it's a sticky note see what it looks like like here but see now that's misleading because you think it's a tag which I kind of wanted to do but then I scumpled this up but I don't know let's do it okay let's glue this down make sure that I've got room here and I don't really want hmm well I guess it wouldn't hurt to see it all right let's just kind of put it there And since we're going to make this a pocket, I want to go ahead and stick it on some book page to reinforce it, which this will be good. Just want to make it just a little bit thicker. If you was wondering what I was doing down there in Chinatown, I was gluing. Now I'm back. Had to take a quick chip. Okay, let's cut that and give it a minute to dry. Oh, I sure didn't use my washi tape a minute ago. Well, maybe I'll stick some washi on here. <laughs> Watch me and see. I think I will. Okay, so talk myself out of all this stuff. All right, so if we have that, maybe let's see what this looks like inked up. That could be our label. If we put the 
this on the bottom. Okay, if I did that, would I still have room for this? Yes, I would. And then, um, we got blue. So let's see. Oh, I got blue up there. Might be too much blue on blue. Okay. Plan B. Next. Let me see. Let's see what this one looks like. It looks like it's taped down pretty good is what it looks like. Mm. I always want to mess with you. Okay. So let's just stick some washies in the corners. So that way you don't think that that's a pocket too because I'm, you know, I psyched you out doing this other one. So maybe if you see that you'll, you won't go, oh, is that a pocket too? I can't get nothing in there. All right. Okay, that was a little over dramatic. Sorry, y'all. My mind gets carried away. All right, let's go ahead and just stick all four corners down. Just because I said we could. Because the prompt said, you know, didn't say we couldn't. So we can do it. that and that. Well, I didn't cut that very straight. Okay, so now we're going to put this down here. Let's just take and make an itty bitty little punch in here. A little thumb hole punch. Oops, as all my little stuff falls out. Guess I need to clean that a bit. Okay, so we're going to put that there and this on top of there. So let's glue these three sides down. Oops, let me get some of that glue off of there. All right, let's glue the three sides down. Make a little pocket. Put it on there. And then we're going to glue our label on. Whoops. Okay, I'm going to glue our label down here. Alright, squish it down. Let me flip it over. And I might just go ahead and put some letters on there sideways just to tie it in, in a little bit of the chicken wire. All right. That made me feel so much better. <laughs> okay, now we got to glue this on some scrap paper, which I think this will fit. Yes, it will. All right. Now see if that had been real uh, glue stick, it had been stuck to the plastic blue bin, it, it stuck to my finger, stuck to the glass plate, you name it, it had stuck. Oh, then I'd be tearing off paper, being all upset. Oop, let's make sure that we do it the right way. Okay, we just glue that on there just so this is a little thicker than what it is. It's still a little, I don't know, might be a little thin for me. Okay, we're going to do another layer. Oh, goodness gracious. Wasn't ready for this. I need, oh, here we go. Here's some more coffee dye paper. We'll glue it onto the back of there. 
Maybe before it's all said and done with, we'll have a, something right on. I don't know. It's getting it's drying pretty firm. Hmm. I wonder. Oh, let's glue it to it. Let me semi cut around it so I know I'm in the right spot. Because, you know, I don't want to waste my coffee dye. Well, that was a little easier to cut around than I thought. It looked more oval. But it turned out to be more square. Yep, it's time to sweep underneath here. Hmm. You know, that's kind of okay. I think I'm going to leave it. It's not really that bad. It's kind of like a 65-pound cardstock. And then once it dries all the way, I think it will be just fine. All right, let's punch the corners in like they're little tickets. And then I'll drag my other part out. And we'll see what we have. For number four. need this anymore so all right oh that's kind of cute all right let's put all this in here pull out a other part and let me mark this off because I got my sticky note so this is number four let's see if this is dry better dry more not dry better okay so that's our card with this journal card that goes in there and you can see a little bit of the number poking out so you know hey there's something in there pull me out now I'm kind of thinking I want some more washi on there let me see if I have is this too dark yeah. Oh no. Let's see. Let's see what this looks like. Oh yeah. Okay. We're sticking this on here. So we're going to tack our corners down here too. Yeah, I think I'm going to do all four. Help pull in some more of that red and pink so it's not just so blue, aqua blue. And then we've got to make sure we have just a little bit of that corner tab poking out. Yeah, and with all this rain, you know, I just let the horses out. Roman free, I guess it's been three days now, because, you know, we didn't have any rain. But it's supposed to rain all week, so I think I'm going to have to go down and put them back in the barn. Because I sure saw Tootsie and Minnie running down the stinking hill by my truck, slipping and sliding on the front hill. And that's how Tootsie hurts herself. That's how they tear up my yard. Ugh. It's not a yard. It's a hillside. But they got all this other land. Go on it. Leave my hill alone. Okay. So I have that. And then I'm wondering who, what I need. Something's missing. I need something. See, I might have to think about that one. So here we go. Here's our Marguerite Miller challenge number four. And I use my 
the graph paper that it said, so I took and made a pocket with my scrap folder that I had in my scrap box, and then used another piece of graph paper, you know, we stenciled all over it, put it in here. All right, what are you sticking on in there? I glued everybody down. Oh, that other piece of book page. Okay, there we go. So there we go. It does work better if it's flat. So just envision this on a journal page. It's going to cover your whole journal page. So if you put it down, you know, it's going to cover the whole page. And you still have room on the side if you wanted to make yet another journal, another tuck thing. Just take and put another little thumb notch on here and you can put another another journal card so you'd end up with three journal cards on here or better yet you can always put a hinge on here and you know do it as a flip out or glue it down this way make it a top so there's a lot that you can do with these Marguerite Miller challenges if you you know make your project a little smaller and not so big so if I do anything different to it I'll show you but I'm kind of thinking I'm liking it because, you know, you got room to maybe journal a little something there if you want to. Like, I don't know, write something. But I don't know if I want to take away from that blue and all this turquoise because it's, it's really pretty. And, uh, all right. Well, there you go. Marguerite Miller challenge number four. Choo -choo. Four down. A lot more to go. So I hope you guys stick with me and, and watch... Watch my little thing because it is addictive. Y'all just need to get it out and, and give it a shot. And like I said, just in case, if you want to see the prompts real quick, you know, here's, whoops, there's one and two and three and four. But go for it. It's fun. It really is. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. Thanks for coming back. I hope you'll come back and see me again. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.